Hello and welcome to the White Dog Music YouTube channel. If you're a returner, ha many happy returns. If you're a newbie, well, you know, you're welcome, just like anyone else. Uh, let me just press record. I should be pressing record as we go. I am continuing on my odyssey into the Boss IR2, which is the amp and cab sim, which I think is absolutely fantastic piece of kit. I haven't got it in my hand here because it's down underneath the doofus here. So you will have to forgive me, but I'm sure you know how it looks and all that kind of stuff. So... As always, uh, or as in the last video, not always, um, I lied completely. What I've done is I've taken a demo track, I've created three parts for it, and I've used the modded section of this pedal the modded setting, I should say, entirely, so nothing else has been used. It's just modded sounds. The mod, the modded, modded sound is based on a, a custom or bespoke boss amp, I understand, using Celestian speakers, and it's a high, another high gain amp. So if you saw the last video, we did the R Fire, same kind of idea, um, just a very high gain and very cool sounding uh, amp. Sim. All right. Uh, so first things first, as always on the pedal, you've got free band EQ, bass, middle and treble. Uh, you've got level. You've got this very cool, uh, very cool pots. So you've got to one top on one top, one pot on top of the other. And uh, and that's pretty much it. You've got your 11 amp settings. So the first thing I've noticed about this particular setting is that on the R fire setting, the bass didn't really kick in until kind of till it was sort of flat uh, 12 o'clock is probably the easiest way of saying that um, but on this one on this setting it does it kicks in much much earlier so that was obviously a not a pedal thing it was a particular sound thing so let's have a listen to um, the sound with a little bit of bass kicked in at the moment, this bass is about 10 o'clock. Um, let's go for nine o'clock, shall we? And then we can kind of see how it how it kicks in. We're not going to go mad because we don't need too much bass. We've got a bass player, right? But uh... so very thin and uh, and stringy. Turn the bass up to about 12 o'clock, so flat. As you can hear, the bass is already uh, already really kicking in. We won't go mad because we all know what bass sounds like, right? If you're in a band, you'll know too well what bass sounds like because your bass player probably never shuts up let's go one more what are we sort of caught up um caught up uh, three o'clock something like that nice and warm there you go perhaps that's a problem solved get rid of your bass player just dial up your ir2 Let's keep that flat for now. I don't like it too thin and stringy, but we also don't want it too bass heavy or, or muddy either. Um, I think we'll just keep everything else flat, really. I mean, you know, mids and treble, they kind of... Now they do what they say on the tin, don't they? Let's dial in a little bit of treble there. lose a bit of bass and, and dial in some mids. We'll go back to flat, eh? So it's actually quite hard to see from here. Uh, the other thing to note about this particular setting, the modded setting, is that the it's usable, whereas the R Fire setting was completely um, there was it, it was full beans distortion, full beans gain, and there wasn't really anything in the clean 
clean area. Um, this one does clean up a little bit, as you can probably hear. So the gain uh, is down around here. The gain is kind of on about nine o'clock at the minute, which is which is usable. It sounds it sounds pretty good, uh, even though it's a high gain um, setting. This one maybe gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of some clean sounds and bits and pieces like that as well. So as we can hear, if we go from nine o'clock to kind of 12 o'clock flat as such. Oh, not that chord, wow. Beefy already, and we still got lots of headroom in terms of the in terms of the gain there. So you can go much gainier as well. Let's just drop a bit of level because if we're gonna throw more gain in there, as you well know, that's gonna make us louder. <laughs> Should we just whiz it up? Was it right the way up? Should we just throw full uh, full gain assault? What do you reckon? Let's take the, the uh, level down just a smidgen. Pretty awesome stuff. Sounds pretty good, and again, usable. You know, it's usable. It's um, it's big and it's gainy, but just like everything else on the pedal, it's not it's not unusable. Um, you often find with pedals that there's just a whole bunch of stuff on there that, while there might be one or two sounds that are decent, you would never really use. But I think I think this pedal. One of the reasons I really like this pedal is just everything is just it's just chock of use chock a block of usable stuff. You know. So there you go. Let's have a little look at um, at the first part of the demo then, and I'll just double check my settings to make sure that I've got uh, I've got the right thing. I should say that was all on that was all on neck pickup. I suppose I should mention that I do have a tendency not to mention what pickup I'm using, but that was all on the neck. All right then. So for this first for this first one, titled modded one. Very uh, adventurous and creative in my in my titling of these things. Um, I think we kept basically everything pretty flat by the looks of things. I think we went kind of gain in the middle somewhere, uh, level just put up a smidge, and I think everything else. It is actually very difficult to see this. I'm just making sure I'm getting everything roughly in the right place. So basically everything's flat, and then we had the gain, uh, the gain up kind of 12 o'clock as well. I think that's roughly where we were for this particular sound. If I put my pen down, I don't know if you've seen these, if you use pens. I stopped, uh, I stopped using mice a little while back, and I tried these Inuit pens. Inuit? Intuit. Um, and they're awesome. Honestly, if you try one, it takes a week or two to get used to. It's really weird. I know I'm you know, transgressing here or whatever. I'm, I'm going off the subject, but, um, but they're awesome. Absolutely fantastic. I probably won't ever use a mouse again. Um, yeah, give it a try. But anyway, I'll put that down. So yeah, here's our, here's our sound, uh, which is the first part of the demo, I think, which is coming up now. He says, fingers crossed. <laughs> All 
All right, let's check out modded one. Here's the demo track with that particular sound on it, just for a bit of context. Let's have a look at sound number two on the modded setting. So for this one, I took some gain out. Uh, so we went down to about nine o'clock, something like that on the gain. I think everything else looks fairly, fairly flat. I think middle is roughly center. I think it's about 1130, something like that. So here we go. This is modded sound demo number two. Let's have a look at modded sound number three. For this one, the bass was dialed out slightly, so down to about 10 o'clock. The middle was dialed up to about 2.33 o'clock, 2.45 really, I would say. And I dialed the gain up, so the gain went to about, again, 2.30, 2.45, something like that. Uh, this will be the last time I speak to you. It's just the music from this point onwards. So if you've liked this video, feel free to give us a, um, a like, subscribe, comment, whatever it happens to be. And probably just worth saying that there'll be two demos, one after the other now. The second one is a rough mix and master of all three tracks together, all three parts together, um, just, to, just to finish us off, you know. So take care, and we'll see you again real soon here at uh, White Dog Music.